In this video we are going to have a look at the sorting algorithm bubble sort. First I'm going to explain you how the algorithm works, then demonstrate it on a small example, give you the time and space complexity and afterwards provide you with a link to an implementation of bubble sort in Java. Alright, now let us talk about bubble sort. Bubble sort is one of the easier to implement sorting algorithms and it works in such a way that big numbers move from the left to the right and therefore small numbers from the right to the left. This behavior is achieved by comparing adjacent numbers in an array of length n with each other starting from the left side. If the first number is smaller or equal to the second number, the next pair of numbers will be compared and if it's bigger, the numbers will be swapped. This process is repeated until the end of the array is reached, where now the biggest number will be stored. At this point you would start from the left side again and repeat these steps until you come to position n-1. This process is done until there is only one number in the unsorted part of the array left or you did not swap any numbers in your last repetition. Let's say you wanted to place the elements of this array inside their correct order. First you would have to take a look at the length of your array which is 6. Then you will have to compare the first two numbers in your array. Since the 3 is bigger than the 1 you would have to swap them out. After this you would compare the second and the third number where the 42 is bigger which means there's nothing to do and you can go on to the next pair. This process then is repeated until you reach the end of the array. Now that you have reached the end you know that the 52 is the biggest number in your array. Which also means that the last part of your array is now sorted and therefore the length of your unsorted array shrinks by 1. To continue sorting you will have to start from the left side again and repeat this process. But since there won't happen anything new I'm going to speed this part of the video up. Alright, now it looks like you have finished sorting the array, but on top of that you should check if the array really is sorted. For this you could just compare adjacent numbers until the end and if there is no problem, you can return the correctly sorted array. Now we are going to go over the time and space complexity. In the case of bubble sort, we are repeating the outer loop for a total of n times, which means that we are running the inner loop for every position in our array. Inside the inner loop we are comparing adjacent numbers for n-i times, where i is the number of already completed loops. This leads us to a total of n times n-1 divided by two comparisons, which means that our time complexity comes down to big O of n squared. Since we are using a fixed amount of extra space, bubble sort is an in-place sorting algorithm. That's basically everything important you need to know about bubble sort. Considering the high time complexity, you should also have a look at other sorting algorithms such as quick or heap sort if you are planning to operate on big amounts of data. In case you want to have a look at the code and maybe play around with it, you find a link in the description below. If there's any other algorithm you want me to talk about, just leave a comment and I'll try my best to get to it. Thank you for watching and until next time.